Hey guys, it's me, Blue Reset, and today I will be showing you all how I made the scout uniform from uh, the Owl House. Uh, that being said, I did not make the mask for this one, so everything but the mask. So if you want to cosplay Steve, or if you want to cosplay the Golden Guard in the scout uniform, uh, I do not have a mask for it. However, the rest of it is cheap. It is completely all thrifted. Mostly all thrifted, but I can show you guys how to do it with all thrifting because it's not that hard. So, you are going to need a few materials, obviously. Um, you are going to need, and this actually also works for the hexide uniform. The base of this works for the hexide uniform. So if you want to do hexide, you can also do that with this. And I might combine this into a, I might make another video about the hexide uniform because that one's also budget friendly. Very budget friendly, actually. I really like it. So, um, but yeah, let's get into the scout uniform. So, what you will need, and I'll put this on the screen, you will need a long gray shirt. So, either you get one that's really long or you get an oversized one. If you get an oversized one, I will talk about how I personally uh, worked it into getting it into the thing. You want it to be dark gray rather than a lighter gray because it's going to be closer to the color of the scout uniform. And that's just my experience with it. Uh, don't worry about the sleeves too much. If you want it to be long sleeved, you can. But because you're wearing a cape, no one's going to really see it too much. You don't have to worry about it too much. Um, and then you're going to need a belt. Uh, preferably in black. I think it's better with the ones that do not have a clasp. And don't require you to have belt loops. But um, if you have any ones without belt loops, I have one that... The one I use for this one uh, requires belt loops for it to keep it in place, but I do not use it, and it just kind of hangs. But uh, if you can find one that doesn't really do that, that's perfect. Great, even. In belts, usually you can find them at thrift stores for a pretty good price, too. Because I would never buy a belt um, without thrifting it, because that's, that's expensive. It can be. It can be like 15 bucks. Like, um, no thanks. I can buy one for three. Actually... This is, I'll get to this. I bought, I bought two belts for like 69 cents each the other day. It was great. Okay, anyways, <laughs> off topic. Uh, three. You're going to need some kind of white fabric. Now, this is the one I said was kind of like, it can be thrifted. You can just use a white cape. If you already have a white cape on hand, I did, you can use that. If you don't, that is perfectly fine. You can go to the thrift store and get a white tablecloth or a white just sheet. Or any of those, or you can just have one, if you have one lying around the house, white sheet, white tablecloth, any of that. I have a small one that's a little bit too short for the scout uniform, but I could have used it if I had wanted to. That is the, and then if you really want to make it yourself, which is a whole thing, you can use that. You can, it's like two, three yards of white fabric of any material will work really for the cape. So if you want to do that, you can do that too. So you've got options. Depends on how you want to spend your money and how you want it to look. And then after that, you are going to need, obviously, the stuff to close all this. So, um, I would get a, either a clothespin or a snap, personally, for the to close the cloak. And then also take a piece of cardboard. And if you really want to be cheap about this, which you can be, you can just take a yellow marker to it and for that, for the next, for the uh, emblem. Or you can, if you have the emblem, you can buy the emblem. I know I've seen it on Etsy. I didn't do that. I just took a piece of cardboard and I covered it in some gold fabric. So if you have some yellow fabric lying around, cover it in yellow fabric. It's just what you have around the house. Don't make this overcomplicated. I will show you guys real quick what it looks like on my dress form um, with the shirt I used. And I'll also show you guys how I altered my shirt to be able to fit it. As long as the shirt gets to about... oh. It's about to your like above your knee that should work it doesn't have to be a shirt either it can be a dress but it has to be sort of st somewhat straight it has to be like loose it has to fit loosely because when you put the belt on it's going to give the shape like this and you also need to be using one that you could probably alter it's not required but if you want the triangle on the front where it's like an armor piece yes you'd probably want to do it so you can alter it I will show you guys all what this looks like in a second, so. Yeah. 
Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the base on the dress form. Of course, this is um, just a plain gray shirt, which I cut in the front here to make the bottom uh, triangle, and I put a belt on it. This is an oversized shirt. It was um, given to me to just kind of work with, so it has a few plain spotters on it for from previous projects, because it was just the one I used to uh, work on. But as you can see, this used to be a decal shirt, so there's this big hole in the back. Uh, this used to be the front of the shirt, but I've altered it so that, obviously, I can still wear it without having to worry about the decal. Because it's in the back, it really won't matter. But here's what you pretty much need to do when you're doing this, and I mentioned it earlier in this video. You're going to cut down the middle of the shirt so you get this middle seam that you see in a lot of armor pieces. Uh, if you really want it to be really accurate. But of course, there's also this, which is the cape. I mentioned earlier that this tablecloth was too small for a full-length cape, but as you can see, it does still work for the scout uniform, especially if you're only recording TikToks and you're going to be doing this outside. Uh, I forgot to mention this, but you're going to need some leggings for this, and there's a clothes spring, because that's what goes underneath this um, project. But leggings are also a cheap purchase. You can go down to Walmart and get some for like two bucks, I think. So most of this is cheap, cheap. You cannot get leggings at a thrift store, I don't think, though. And even if you do, I don't. I wouldn't really recommend it. It's probably all stretched out, you know? But over here, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to lay this correctly. Um, because I'm not really sure. When I was doing this, I haven't done this with this specifically before. I did it with my uh, white cape I had for Kaido Kid. But this is how it looks now. I folded it over each other so that it goes, um, it goes higher up on... The you want your cape to have a high up uh on the top because that's how it is on the scout uniforms so you want to make sure that you, where it connects is at the top and then you put your clothespin in where you want it to be about halfway through that's where i would put it about halfway down from where you uh put everything together and obviously if we had the emblem you'd put it on top of the clothespin uh, i could not find my emblem when i was doing this for whatever reason i think i misplaced it but I'll put a picture of what the emblem looked like when I did it. was literally just a piece of cardboard. And I put some gold plated uh, fabric above it. And obviously here you can see that I'm pulling it back so that it lays nicer. And also it gives a hood to the cape. Which was uh, unintentional to be honest. But obviously there is a hood on the scout uniform. But obviously here I don't have one. As I was saying though. If you um... If you're doing this one, I do not know for sure. If you need to put sleeves on this, you can take the extra fabric you get from uh, taking out some of the area when you are using an oversized shirt to uh, use for sleeves. But overall, this is pretty much it completed. I hope this was helpful to you all.